When was the last time you took a leap of faith trusting that everything is going to work out? Do you crave growth or are you merely content with the status quo? If you want more out of your life, out of your career, and out of your relationships, you are in the right place. Take the leap and discover how to create a life by design rather than living it by default. Real success starts with you. Now here's your host, Colleen Biggs. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Take the Leap. I am your host, Colleen Biggs, and today I am going to do a solo um, podcast episode. We are on podcast episode number 99. I'm super excited that Chava Florin is going to be our 100th episode, and we're going to be interviewing her uh, later today. So you will see that episode coming out soon. And we're going to be talking all about emotionally resilient during turbulent times. But today, I want to talk about punctuality and commitment in business. Uh, but before uh, we get to that today, I would love to thank our sponsor of today's show, The Adventures of Julie Jones and Get Shit Done Coaching. Are you overwhelmed and overworked with a never-ending to-do list? Do you constantly feel tired because life seems hard and your needs are nowhere near the top of the priority list? Well, as an adventure and breakthrough coach, Julie Jones will support you in a life that is easy, effortless, and most of all, fun. Stop spending time on the have to in life and start truly living a life of I get to. What are you waiting for? Take action and go to www.juliejones.biz and book a free 30-minute live out loud call with Julie. And I can tell you, as Julie is a client and a friend, she is absolutely amazing on helping you really get that work life uh, priority so that you're not overworked and overwhelmed and feeling like you're on a hamster wheel, but you also have fun in life. Um, so definitely book that call with her just 30 minutes on the phone with her. She'll be able to connect you with some amazing people. So thank you, Julie, for being our sponsor in today's show. Okay. Let's get to the topic of commitment and punctuality. And <clears throat> as running a business, and I would say, you know, from all my years also in corporate America, when you commit to something or when you say that uh, you are going to be on time and then you are not, that really throws things off for um, a host. Uh, for instance, you know, when I, 2019, when we started our live radio show on Voice America, we had a team of engineers that were ready and we had to have our guests in there 10 minutes early to be set up to test for sound because we went live at the top of the hour. And if we weren't ready to go live, then our channel would just sit silent. So it was very important, as you can tell, for us to be able to have the guests in there early and not have them be late, for them to be punctual, for them to have their headphones on. And there were plenty of times when we would be in the studio and one, we would usually have two, at least two guests, and one of our guests would be late. Well, we will have already shut the door. We are now in the studio. We are now recording so that individual that drove down to the studio would need to reschedule and leave because there was no way for us to get them in the studio, get them set up, test their sound while we're already live and rolling. So I share that with you because someone might think, well, if I'm two minutes late, that's not a big deal for the other person. But in a, in a instant like that, in a situation where you have a team of engineers and then right behind my show, the engineers at the end of the hour have to move over to the next uh, show that's going on in another studio. If they were to run two minutes behind and then the next show was two minutes behind, the third or fourth show would be 15 to 20 minutes behind. And that can happen when you have live shows that are running. So I share that 
because I believe your punctuality, your commitment shows your integrity uh, and really portrays your character of who you are in business when you show up uh, for something. I am always on time, if not early. Um, if I need to cancel or reschedule a call in advance, I will uh, reach out to somebody and let them know. There have been a few instances where there have been emergencies, like true emergencies that have come up and I've had to reach out to my team to reach out to individuals to let them know I'm not available, but that's very rare. I would say for most of us to have a true emergency like that is rare. So that is why I wanted to talk about commitment and, and punctuality today. I run several events in a week. So as the Leap community, and many of you have heard me talk about the Leap community, this is a community that I run for women who are building businesses. This is a membership-based community. It is all about you. It is all about visibility. It is all about your visibility. It is all about you being seen, you being heard, and you being visible. And this community was created to provide you with a platform so you can connect, network, collaborate, build your business, get education from other members, have a mastermind to go to to bounce ideas off of, excuse me, as well as it is a membership for you to be in the spotlight all the time. We do live LinkedIn interviews, live YouTube videos, live Facebook videos. We have you teach a Thrive Thursday Masterclass. You get to submit blogs. We promote you every single week in the newsletter. We're promoting a new member. So every member of the community can reach out and have a one-on-one -on -one with that new member of the community. So we are constantly promoting the women in our community. And that is the service that we offer for the very, very, very affordable low price of being a member of this community. And I purposefully had it so affordable so that anybody at any stage in their business could build their business and start collaborating early on and not wait until they're making enough money to, you know, invest in a coach or whatever that might be. I wanted them to be able to get started and feel, feel supported right away. So with that, I run a lot of events. So on Mondays, I'm doing Member Monday Spotlights. On Wednesdays, we have back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back podcast interviews that I do every Wednesday morning. On Thursdays, we are running Thrive Thursday Masterclasses or the Lunch and Learn Networking Event. On Tuesdays, I'm running the, the networking events for Speed Networking or one of my directors are. On Mondays... We're doing meetups in person and some of our directors are doing that or I'm doing that. So as you can imagine, during the week, there are several different events. We have our masterminds on Tuesdays, usually the second Tuesday of every month. So we have a lot of events that we're running. And if the if women are late, um, you know, showing up to these events, they miss out. So if if we're in speed networking, for example, and that was yesterday. So if we're in speed networking and uh, right away in the first five minutes, I'm breaking them up and putting them into rooms so that they can one on one connect with someone for 10 minutes. If a person joins five minutes in or three minutes in or 10 minutes in, they've already lost that first networking opportunity opportunity or now they sit with me in the main room because I already have everybody paired up and uh, working through that process. So I'm not saying in an event like that, you can't come in late, but you really miss out. And if you committed to being there, why not commit from the top of the hour until the event ends and put that on your calendar and have everything else set aside? I know how important networking is. It is what builds your net worth. It is how we deposit equity into our social capital. And that social capital is always going to be who you know and who knows you. That's who you know and who knows you. And I know how important that is. If you are going to commit, get it on your schedule and commit to it. If you are on a call prior to that event that you're coming to and it's and it's getting to the top of the hour, you need to set the boundary with that individual and say, I have another commitment that I need to jump on to. So I need to end this call and then say what you need to say to end the call and move on. But it is extremely rude to be late to a next appointment uh, because then you find yourself just apologizing all day. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry. 
for showing up late. So um, here's the other thing. When you become dependable, meaning that you've committed to something and you're following through with that, other people see that and that integrity and that honesty and that character of yours really is a valuable piece. It really elevates you because other individuals know that they can depend on you. I couldn't imagine uh, showing up late for one of my client coaching calls. Or for instance, today I'm, I'm driving over to a hotel because my clients fly in town. We do quarterly trainings for business intensive trainings. And I spend two days with them. And if I was late to that or didn't arrive on time, um, and they spent this money and invested to fly out here. And then I was late or, um, you know, wasn't able to show up. That doesn't really, uh, glean very well on me and my character and my commitment to my clients that I said that I would be there for them. Uh, and they're depending on that. And in fact, uh, a couple months ago, Jane.com reached out to me and they're having an annual conference and they asked me if I would be a speaker. And they wanted me to, to speak on the day that my clients fly into town. Now, I could have flown in the night before to Utah, spoke that morning and then flew back. But my thought was, what if my flight was canceled? What if I wasn't able to get back in enough time um, that evening to be able to be present with my clients at dinner and then be at my business intensive training the next morning. And I had eight clients that were physically in the room and that I had clients that were also on Zoom. And I told them I couldn't, I couldn't do that, but I recommended some other speakers to them. Uh, and I did that because I didn't know if I would be able to get back. What if my flight was canceled? What if something happened? And I had previously already made this commitment and these clients were already flying in the air and headed out to me. So again, I made that choice uh, to stick to that commitment that I had made to my clients. So think about it. What are some of those things in your life and in your business that you feel maybe you're a little lax on? Maybe you aren't sticking to a commitment on your calendar. I'm huge in time management. And I'll tell you how that started way back in corporate America. This probably was 15 years, 20 years ago. I, I didn't block out my calendar. I had calls with clients and um, I had projects I needed to work on. But I, I at that time, I didn't really block my calendar out. I wasn't using time management in a way. I think I had a paper calendar that I used. So I wasn't digitally blocking my calendar. Well, as I rose up the ranks in corporate America and became an executive, what happens is other departments will look at the executives and put them all on an invite. Then they'll line up and see when is the time that most people are available. And then they'll book a meeting at that time. Well, what was happening to me was they were booking meetings when I had projects I was working on, when I was supposed to be at lunch or when I was supposed to be talking to a client. And I noticed that because I wasn't blocking out my schedule, they would just book them during whenever it worked out for everybody else. And that was when I realized I needed to take control of my time. I needed to let everyone know when and when I was not available electronically on my calendar. And that is how I got into the habit of time blocking. Time blocking is this. Very simply, blocking your time. <laughs> and I know you're all going to laugh at that, but it's absolutely the truth. It's blocking your time. It's setting a boundary and saying, during these hours, I am going to do X. And I will tell you, I schedule everything. Um, I had to pack this morning. It was scheduled. I had to pack last night uh, to get you know, things packed in my car for my business intensive training with my clients. I had that on my calendar. I block out when I have to create podcast notes. I block out when there's interviews for podcasts. I block out when I have calls with individuals, when I have projects I need to work on. So if I need to write content for a sales page, for something new that I'm creating, I will block out 30 minutes or 45 minutes. And it basically just says, you know, write the content for X, Y, Z. Now, if I can't write the content within that 30 or 45 minutes because I needed additional time to do some research, then I do the research and spend the time in that 30, 45 minutes doing what I need to do. And then I will add another block later in the week or the following week uh, that says finish up 
this prep. Uh, you know, when things are due and, and someone says, hey, we're really excited for you to be a speaker here at our event. This is what we need from you. So by the 24th of the month, could you get us your bio? And could you get us your headshot? And could you get us a description of what you're going to be talking about? Let us know if there's any supplies that we need to purchase for our employees. And please, would you also let us know if you're, um, you know, going to need any um, printing that we need to do for handouts. So on my calendar, I will go block that out on the 24th to send, you know, I'll just take a time during the day, maybe it's two to three, and I'll block that out if that's open on my schedule and say that I need to go ahead and get this information to them. But then I'll back it up maybe the day before that or two days before that, if there's any prep work I need to do because it's due on that day. So if if I get to it and they want me to write a description of something I don't have a description for and I need a little bit more time, then I'll block out some additional time one or two days before that. It's no different when you have a book uh, chapter or you have um, your book is due by a certain date because the publisher needs it and you're backing that up to preparing on when you're writing and when you're doing things so that the due date is um, is on your calendar, but then you have all of the work that you're doing that's blocked out as well. This is how I'm able to be so efficient with my time. I am only working on the things during the day that are moving my business forward, that are providing ROIs or that are um, deliverables to those that have paid for those. So I'm, I'm hosting events, those are deliverables. I'm coaching clients, those are deliverables. Uh, I may be speaking somewhere, that's a visibility event. So everything that is on my schedule is either filling my container, for education, because obviously if learning is beneath you, leadership is beyond you. We've talked about that a lot here on this podcast, but I put those things on my calendar that are going to be the items that move my business forward in a day. And I do not allow, this is a high performing habit, write this down, a high performing habit. You do not allow other things during the day to derail you. I do not allow things during the day to derail me and get me off course or off task. I follow my calendar when I'm plugged in. And then I, if I have other things that I need to do during the day that are personal, maybe I had a dentist appointment. The only time I could have scheduled that was at Tuesday at 11. I will have that on my schedule at 11, but I'll have a drive time before it, a drive time afterwards. And then that way, you know, if that's a month in advance, other people that are scheduling on my calendar now are scheduling around that appointment that I have. And I'm not having to follow up with anyone to say, oh, excuse me, Clara, I'm not able to meet with you today because I have to drive to my dentist appointment. Could I reschedule you? No, I have drive times on there so that I know that when people are booking with me or when I have projects on my schedule, I am able to commit to those and put my full attention to that. That is part of that respect piece of being on time for calls so that you're not driving somewhere and saying, sorry, I had to, I can't tell you how many people jump on and they're like, sorry, I had to do this X, Y, Z, or I thought I'd be home in time or um, it, it happens all day long to me. So I would ask as a professional business entrepreneur, that you think about how can you schedule your time better so that you're on time, so that you're not being disrespectful to other people, not knowing how your lateness might cause some issues for them, as we talked about in the very beginning. And when you commit, commit. I'm not saying that if you commit to an individual and that individual does something horrible to you, like you commit to a friend that you're going to help them move and then they completely stab you in the back somewhere along the way, you're not now obligated to that commitment. That's that's not what I'm saying. That That's a boundary issue. I'm saying that if you're committed to be a guest on someone's show, read the information that's been given to you, read it and make sure you understand your responsibility. For example, if you're a guest on my podcast, I ask you to show up 10 minutes early. Why do I do that? I ask you to show up 10 minutes early because I need to talk to you about how the flow of the show is going to go. I need to set up to go live. I need to talk to you about making sure you mute everything. I need to test your sound. There's a lot that we need to go over. I want to make sure I have all of the information 
information correct in front of me. And then we start the show at the top of the hour and go live. And I have 30 minutes booked out for that individual uh, to be on the interview. And then I have a 15 minutes in between. And then we have a 30 minutes um, and we do this back to back on Wednesday morning. So if someone is late, that throws everything off. I'm not able to complete that interview because I have others back to back beyond that person. And then um, if someone is late, they have to reschedule at that point. So I wanted to bring this to your attention today. And I want to say where, you know, ask the question to you, where in the areas do you feel that you're doing amazing as far as showing up and being respectful and being on time? Just because COVID happened doesn't mean that customer service needs to go out the window. It doesn't mean that we need to stop treating other people with respect. We need to be respectful as entrepreneurs to other people's time and make sure, especially if you're invited onto a platform that is complimentary to you and they're doing you a favor by promoting you and you're going to promote them. And it's a win-win for both of you that you respect their time and their schedule. I think that's just something that as business owners, we should all do is respect each other's time. And that will really help you in business. Um, people will see you as a valuable person um, and they will really like you and trust you uh, because of that trait. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me again here on Take the Leap. Again, I'm your host, Colleen Biggs. I'm so thankful that you came on this journey with me today. And remember, you're the only you that's ever been. You are the only you that will ever be. So in this lifetime, be respectful of other people's time. Please show up on time. And when you commit, follow through on that commitment. All right, everyone. It was so great to see you today. And until next time, bye-bye for now. Be you and be strong. See ya. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery, where you learned the tools to create a life by design. Remember, you are the only you there is, and you are the only you that will ever be. Be you and be strong because you are brilliant and the world needs you at your best. We cannot wait for you to join us again next time.